most of the things they are doing electronically, microfinance banks will also be able to do it. To do it, we have emphasized on the use of ATM, depending on the way you want it, based on you know the MOU you want to sign with them. You want to build it, you want to build your cash, or you want to do your own. Anyway, just make sure something is done. Digital banking is very important as everyone has gone digital. So the banking system must also ensure that they also go digital. This is why we are here. This is why the Microfinance Banking Association in Ocean State are holding this training, the second edition in this year, for staff that are going to be handing a banking system in their various branches. We'll be part of the training and we'll be telling you what is really happening in today's training. Welcome, my name is Jerry Tiamu. Let's be part of the training. Here are staff of microfinance banks in Ocean State. They are here for an intensive seminar on e-banking. The seminar was organized by the National Association of Microfinance Banks, Ocean State Chapter, on Wednesday, September 22, 2021. To be recorded on your system, have you visited as, you know, this year, the, the, this year for loan and all the rest, have you done all that is needful? Of course, you enter it on the system. So if there's a default, the management will be able to take decision on any default, even if it's a, a staff. The essence of the training, according to the chairman of the association, who was represented by his deputy, Al Haj Tundelawar, was to ensure microfinance banks across Austin State meet up with international best practices. He said digital banking has continued to grow and they are ready to follow the trend. We have for various reasons why we are now mounting this type of uh, program. One, to increase the way that we are servicing our customers. And then, two, to bring all our staff to the level whereby they will be able to do more in the service to various customers that comes their way at their banking, uh, banking hall. The e-banking has uh, opened the eyes of every serious-minded businessman, especially banking service. If once you cannot do the uh, actual thing that's supposed to, that is uh, uh, operating within the system, so people will tend to forget you easily. So the best thing is to move the way the world is moving. At least if you have an ATM, you have POS, it makes the transaction to be seamless when you are now delivering your service to your various customers. But if you decide to be complacent, a lot of people will move away from you. Banking is no more harms here banking. You need to have, you, you need to spend a lot on information technology that will give you the advantage over others. And that is the major thing that's supposed to be. So as far as uh, our MFB is concerned, we need at least to bring ourselves to limelight. By doing what? By carrying out the transactions that will uh, competitively have hedge over the commercial banking services so that we will not lose anything. And then people at the rural bank also will feel on top of the world that they have an account with the bank. Lawal also called on federal government and the Central Bank of Nigeria to relax some string policies that are in beating development of microfinance banks in the banking sector. Well, there are so many things that the, we need government to do. They have to come to our head too. No small amount of money can be spent on uh, information technology. Information technology is very wide and it consumes a lot of money. Even though at the end of it, all, the resultant effect will be beneficiary to both the government and even the banking, I mean, the bank that actually carry out that digital uh, uh, innovations. So that's why they have to come to our age and then they have to relax so many policies that can create bottleneck for the bank. For example, now they said we cannot, there are certain transactions that microfinance bank cannot do. 
while others are doing it. And then you say you are on a global uh, platform. If you are on a global platform, you cannot perform certain transactions. So people will tend to, you cannot be able to do business with those in abroad. But once we are given the opportunity, they relax the policies that, okay, you can do this, you can do that, you can do this, then just like a commercial bank, the better for us. So I think the best thing is to appeal to federal government through Central Bank of Nigeria or through Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation to release some uh, policies that cannot give us advantage over commercial banking. Speaking on the theme of the seminar, which is innovative e-payment platform, solutions for microfinance banks, Dr. Rasid Alade Abdullah of the Department of Banking and Finance, the Polytechnic Ibadan, or your state, took participants through the nitty-gritty of digital banking. Abdullah, who is the least facilitator, explained the importance of the training while speaking with Inside Links TV. E-banking started effectively four or five years ago but microfinance started as back as as far back as 2009 because at the beginning there was a confusion in the policy the policy even first of all said microfinance bank could not go into e-banking but then cbn came out to make a clarification that as long as microfinance bank get approval they are allowed to go into e-bank so e-banking has changed the face of banking generally in nigeria and microfinance bank are not left out one you can serve your customer through various means, withdrawals, deposit, foreign transactions, all cannot be conducted. And as you see, as part of the deliberations in the seminar, one, it is fast, it can increase your income, it can lessen your stress, and it can you know, guarantee you quality service eventually to your, to your various potential and established uh, customers. So I can tell you that e-banking is one way of generating between 75 and 80 percent of income of a microfinance bank if well earnest. Of course there is a proviso and a lacuna. It is an expensive function and banks must think twice before they put their money on the, the, the facilities that e-banking require. This is where we have some problems for now. The policy currently says you can only spend 20 percent of your capital, your paid up capital, um, impaired by losses and provision on acquiring assets. And for you to have to put money on e banking, a typical microfinance bank will not need it than 30 million naira. Not many microfinance banks can afford that. Some of the participants spoke with Inside Links TV. They explained how the seminar will help them improve their quality service delivery on their desks. This training that is ongoing presently. The impact and the benefit to the organization or for myself is that it gives us the updates and it makes us to be relevant in the society or in the banking industry and give us the opportunity that is in the e-banking e process that we should also inform or try to invest in the in-banking in banking service so that we'll be able to compete at high level. This electronic, electronic banking system will help us, especially with the MLBs. It will help us to improve better on our transaction, as we know that nowadays, the, almost all transactions are being done online. So if we too, we can go online, fully online, with this through, this, uh, through the help of this electronic uh, banking, something that we come for today, it will really help us. And also, they even taught, they even, uh, our facilitator even spoke on the ATM, the use of ATM, that we should all try as much as possible to have ATM in our various banks. We want to thank the organizer of this uh, training, the NAMPS Osunse chapter, and the facilitators, the NAFRAS from Ibadan. This training, at the end of the day, it will improve the 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 works of the bank. So we know microfinance bank from the olden days. I mean the the content of establishment of microfinance bank that is to serve the rural the rural dwellers. So microfinance bank now 
I can say we are in a competitive race with the commercial bank. Though we have some activities that has been banned by the CBN, which we cannot engage, engage in them. Uh, the presentation and the training is very important because many of us have not really embarked on the e-banking because of the challenges we are having like the CBN regulations, so it's really hindering us. But since we come to this training, they've put us through a lot of things, and we've picked a lot of things that are very important. So when we get to office, we'll be able to, to start it. The world is involving a height everywhere. The inventment of robots, so we have to move on. We can't just stay where we are and said we'll just continue manually because now we don't know. This this last year it was COVID-19. This year or next year we don't know what will happen again. That might hinder all of us from leaving our home. We have to build ourselves, have the applications, and know how to improve our services so that our customers can be comfortable staying at their houses and transaction transacting sorry so it has it is very important and with this we've really learned a lot the md and the staff have been able to tell us that henceforth e-banking system will be implemented in all microfinance banks across Osun states and that is exactly what we have been able to capture here today from osogo jari tiamiyu inside links tv